All right, so if you have been watching Men's Essentials for a while now, you would know the basics of being attractive. Yes, basics of dressing sharp, making money, working out, and all of that good things. But, 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 what about your attractiveness? What about your overall sexual attractiveness? Gentlemen, what about your individual sexual desirability? I mean, how would you know where you stand in a group of tens and hundreds of men with their availability? Well, easy watch this 20 minute long men's essentials video till the very end gentlemen my name is man this is men's essentials let's roll okay. diving deep and breaking down the essential elements of a man's sexual attractiveness. Gentlemen, I'll rather help you understand this concept using some mere basics. You see, there are two essential elements of a man's sexual attractiveness. First, the lifestyle or in the other manosphere word, the sexual market value. And second, his game, his social dynamics, his interpersonal skills. So you fall short of either one and you'll become a two-legged tripod. Yes, a tripod that can fumble, tumble and topple down at any given moment. So, try to understand this concept if it was not clear. If you want to be happy and successful with women, I mean if that's one of your priorities in life, if that is something you're looking forward to in life, be it an arranged marriage, a casual fling or a serious relationship, if being with someone in your life is one of your life's goal, then you must get good at both these aspects of life. One, fix your lifestyle. Two, get some basic game. Now, where to start this ambitious journey and how do you get better at this, you ask? Well, easy. Gentlemen, first, let's discuss your lifestyle design, your genetics, your genes, or in the other man's word, your sexual market value. And then we will discuss your overall game and how do you build on it, how do you develop it, and how do you get better at that. You see, as the name suggests, your sexual market value is nothing but your overall total physical desirability in the market among all the other men competing for the same. Yes, a said few values that just automatically makes you tad bit better than the average men around. A set few values that makes a woman see you as a potential partner than all the other men around. Now, what are these values you ask? Well, let me tell you. All about it. <laughs> Number one, your face. Do you have an attractive face? Now hang on, hang on, hang on. Before you close the tab or shut the window, this is something far more important because an attractive face here is not limited to your genes or your absolute model like physique. An attractive face could either mean you working on yourself, you taking care of your grooming routine, you having a decent skincare routine, you having a sharp hairstyle, your beard style, and all of that good things. Because see, no matter how lucky or unlucky you are with your facial features or your overall skincare, if you are willing to take a step forward in working towards a decent attractive face, then there won't be any stopping to you. So theoretically speaking, the more genetically gifted you are or the harder you are willing to work on your face or your overall grooming routine, the more attractive or the more model like your face be. To help you understand this step better, let's take my case for example. I am not a male model. I'm clearly not in the cover of a GQ magazine. I mean, I clearly don't have the Ruthik Roshan gene. I clearly don't look like the male model of John Fogarty. But I have tried to make the most of what I got. I have tried to make the most of the hair, the face and everything else that I got. So on a scale of one to 10, if Ruthik Roshan is a nine and a half or a 10, I would fall somewhere in the range of seven and a half, eight. So let's just say eight. Yes, just because I have sincerely put in the effort to work on this damn face. Cool, clear, all right, then let's move on to the second one on the list. Yes, your height. Now, I don't know why is this primal trait so important or so fascinated by most men and women around, but sadly, they do. No, not the six foot 10 or the seven foot 10 Kali type of people, but to anyone who's between six one to six four, they usually get a bit more attention than the average. But you know what the best part is? In today's day and age, in this 2020, it does not really matter. Because if you are using your style and fashion correctly, if you are grooming yourself appropriately, if you cut down the extra fat stored in your face and in your overall body, then guess what? You will end up looking a lot more slimmer, a lot more taller and a lot more attractive, thus raising your overall sexual market value than the average men 
around. Because see, chances are a well-groomed man, a fit man, a man who is well aware of his color and his skin tone, a man who is using style and fashion and fitness to his own, can look a lot more taller. Even if he's like five five, can look a lot more taller than a guy who's around five seven or five eight and a half. That's just how crazy this is. I mean, there are many hacks to it. There are so many more ways to it. This is just one step. To get you sorted in this list. Again, since I am the puppet here and I'm about 185 centimeters tall, which is just a centimeter short of 6'1, I'll give myself an 8.5. Anyway, moving on, the third trait of sexual market value on the list is your fitness, your physique. And trust me, this particular thing holds twice the average weightage of everything else in this entire list. And the best part. This is something you can control. This is something you can totally transform. Because you, no matter how shit or annoying your genetics is, no matter how high or low your BMR is, if you are willing to put in the work, if you are willing to be a bit more serious about your diet and your workout routines for a short while, you will notice the change. Yes, a change so big that it can pretty much negate all the other flaws from your SMVs. I mean, like I said, gentlemen, your fitness or your body holds the maximum weightage, holds the most amount of points or scores in this group of SMVs. So if I'm treating myself as an example again, and if the scale is 20 now instead of 10, I'll be at around 14 out of 20, which is seven out of 10. Clearly, I'm not a male model. Clearly, I'm not a fitness model. Clearly, I'm way off being in my best physical shape. Anyway, number four, your profession or your occupation. I mean, are you Elon Musk? Are you a fighter pilot? Are you Gary Vee, Tom Ford or a super adventurous travel filmmaker? Are you a neurosurgeon, a scientist, an astronaut or things like that? Because gentlemen, what you do and how you do it also raises your sexual market value to a whole new level. Now, I'm a pilot, I'm a YouTuber, filmmaker, an entrepreneur and a public speaker. So no matter how shitty or busy my life be, no matter how hectic and chaotic my life is, it still looks quite decent or quite SMB'd on paper. So it just so happens that the world and some potential women end up evaluating myself as a high value man. And the best part, this is something you can control. This is something that can be a part of your plan. You can easily change it. You can easily fix it. And that's probably the best game plan. Again, I'll give myself an eight and a half just because of the above mentioned details. But hey, before I go further, please note this one thing that these are all made up numbers. I'm trying to score myself here and I'm trying to give you the statistics because I want you to understand this whole process a bit better. I mean, it obviously does not mean that these are some hard and set rules. You can change them, you can improve them, but having a rough idea on where do you stand and how would you change it and what would you need to work on is a very good thing to keep in mind. So please note this fact that these are all made up random numbers. Don't confuse them or relate them to my super egotistical ass. These numbers will only guide me in becoming a better man. These numbers will only help me improving my SMB. Therefore, I hope this does the same to you as well. Moving on, number five, your fashion and your style. Now see, the way your fashion and style works is kind of funny. Because even though this trait is fifth on the list, gentlemen, this high value trait quite directly affects all the other SMBs and even game to be the best. Because see, if you aren't wearing the right clothes, if you aren't wearing the perfect fit and the appropriate colors, then no matter how tall or muscular you be, you'll end up looking like an average bee. I mean, your genetically superior face won't spark any sexual outrage. Your million dollar saving will only project a lazy lethargic outtake. So that's the reason I even started my very own brand. Yes, best t-shirts, best jackets, best jeans, best suits and everything else that you can possibly ever think of. No, no, we don't have the suits and the jackets and the jeans on the website. This is a long game, but we have got the best possible t-shirts you can ever think or you can ever wear in your lifetime's sake. Go to teamybasics.com and try it out once in case you haven't. Gentlemen, these are our signature series and this is our essential classic series we have got the henleys and the restock of our classics coming soon try it out once in case you haven't just try it out once this is how the black signature fits try it out once see it change your life see it change your perspective towards fashion and style and then come back and thank me later because see if you are new to this channel if you haven't seen our 500 plus videos on men's style and fashion then i would recommend you check out teamy basics instagram as well same handle as the website teamy basics Anyway, by now I hope you understand the importance of fashion and style. 
and yes since we are talking about my very case in this example i'll give myself a 9.5 because there's always some room to learn and grow but yes the last one on the list of your sexual market value the last one on the list to define your sexual market value is your fame and popularity because like it or not gentlemen famous people are more desirable yes irrespective of how stupid and moronic they be in their real life they are indeed desirable i mean it's contagious it's superficial but it works and that's just how sexual market values work my score 7.5 out of 10 so all in all if we add them together if we sum them all together in a scale of 1 to 70 70 being the best score possible in this list i scored a 56 which is an aggregate of 80% i still have so much more to learn and there is still so much more to go and that concludes the end of our part 1 okay so now that we have discussed the basic elements of a man's sexual market value or high value it's about time we get on to the second part of the puzzle gentlemen it's about time we discuss your social skills your social dynamics or the game element of your value yes the important piece of the system the third leg of the tripod your mighty game you see no matter how high or how esteem your sexual market value is if you don't work on your third leg if you are not serious about improving your social dynamics on a macro scale then forget about relationships altogether i mean it just can't do why well because if your smds can give someone a great sense of desire and attraction then it's your inner game it's your social dynamics that make them want you yes gentlemen it's your game that makes them want to born you and guess what it's also your inner game that makes a relationship a man and a woman's relationship to be a thing of some extreme value it's this one epic part of the puzzle it's this one epic part of the tripod that keeps you interesting that keeps you attractive that keeps a relationship going more than you ever asked for i mean see at the end of it your super muscular body can sure attract someone but it can't make them stay your money and fame can sure impress someone but it can't make them stay because for that to happen my friend for you to actually be that guy who's wanted and desired by all the other women you need to work you need to have your inner game i mean if not like my mate shitesh then at least to some extent because see Unlike SMBs and like your sexual market value which is more of a lifestyle design your game or your social dynamics is a skill a skill that you must always keep working on but what are these skills you ask well let me tell you all about it number 1 the most important one your confidence a rock solid calm and assertive confidence no not to be confused with a loud mouth cocky jackass but rather like a veteran soldier who has fought plenty wars who is aware of the situations who knows how to handle any given task and who is very well aware of his presence his present and is absolutely calm i mean he does not need to prove his bravery he does not need to show his courage his stripes and his badges can do the talking for himself that's the kind of confidence i am talking about that's the stillness of confidence i am talking about now in case you're wondering how to develop such still rock solid confidence how to develop such assertive confidence then you are at the right place you can probably watch one of our very recent videos on confidence that i made last week click the index card and learn everything that there is to be a bit more confident than before i mean trust me these videos are probably the easiest and the fastest way to help you get there because see your confidence alone can change the entire social dynamics game for you quite easy your confidence alone can help you understand and master these remaining social skills that much more easily anyway moving on the second one on the list the highly underrated one on the list is your sense of you i mean are you funny are you someone who takes himself lightly are you someone who can make fun of himself or are you this weird uptight guy who is very serious about life and who cannot let anyone joke around or just be funny at any given point in time because if you are the second type you need to fix it you need to answer it and you need to address it as soon as you can and in case you're wondering how to be a bit more funny how do you learn and master the art of being a bit more chill and humorous at a given place and time then you can definitely watch a playlist and learn a thing or two more about it. anyway trait number 3 flirting yes so i know ground breaking or shattering but equally important be i mean can you flirt no not the typical bollywood masala nonsense but can you 
actually flirt? Can you actually spark a sexual intrigue or sexual interest without being an asshole, a creep or a jerk? If yes, then great. You have got the skills. You have got it with you. If not, I would highly recommend you watch our Social Dynamics flirting playlist right here on the channel. Gentlemen, these two videos on flirting are probably the only videos you will need to watch on flirting ever in your life. Click them, watch them, come back and watch this video. Anyway, number four, seduction. Yes, can you take the next step after flirting and can actually sexually seduce someone? I mean, tell me honestly, can you turn someone on without even removing a single layer of your clothing item? Do you know how to touch? Do you know when to touch? Do you understand a damn thing about consent? If yes, then good big ups for you. If not, then you my friend, you need some work to do. Number five, your ownership, your assertiveness, your positive dominance or your frame control. Now see, this is where most of these guys get friend zone. This is where most of these guys end up being in the nice guys dead zone. I mean, I recently made a series of videos on this topic, topic of how do you have your own frame control? How do you have your own self-worth and maintain your own individuality, your self-respect and your attraction in a given relationship. In case you haven't watched those videos, click the index card, watch the playlist and learn the best ways to not being stuck in this friend zone. Because see, at the end of it, if you're not willing to respect yourself, if you're not willing to stand up for yourself, then you'll end up being like the remaining three and a half billion men in this world. And we don't want that to happen. I mean, you having your self-worth, you maintaining your frame, you being assertive and dominant is something that everyone appreciates and especially women when you are confident. But last and probably one of the most important part, one of the most important trait of your social dynamics or your game is your charm, your wit or your overall personality. I mean, gentlemen, it's the entire package of your thorough social skills. Your wit, your humor, your intellect, your charm, everything, everything combined together makes you your own personality. So when you use this right, when you put all these tools together right, when you use your wit, your charm, your charisma and everything that there is to your mighty advantage, then chances of women being bored of you, chances of women not wanting to be around you, chances of your genuine crush not chasing you is a far cry. So learn them all, club them all and see you changing your life. Because there isn't a one step to attraction my friend, it's always about the whole damn package to try. I mean, I learned it the hard way and I made some horrible mistakes and I'm still learning in every walks and phases of my life. But now it's your time. Now it's about time you start doing these things in your own life. Because if I have said it once, I'll say it again. No game and only style and money can sure make a girl fall in a relationship with you, but she won't stay much long. Also, only game and no style and money will most likely make you go broke in every other box of life. You need the three legs gentlemen. You need the three legs to stay strong. Anyway, this was long, probably half an hour long, but I hope it was well worth your time. For personal mentoring, coaching and mastermind, you can go to mangrochara.com and for best clothing and possibly the best t-shirts for any man around, you can go to tmbbasics.com. Gentlemen, my name is Mangrochara. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you soon in the next one. Rest up, stay strong, stay stylish. Jai Hind. Take care. Bye. I know we're acting